Well, it is National Library Workers Day, but instead of celebrating such a day, the Idaho portion of that profession is reading the same three pages over and over again. House Bill 710 still sits on Governor Brad Little's desk, as far as we know. He'll have to make a decision on the legislation at least by tomorrow. He can either make it a law by signing it, or he can just put his veto stamp on it once again like he did last session. He could also just not do anything with it and let it go into law by itself. In the meantime, Idaho librarians are combing the bill's language and wondering exactly how they can even comply. It's one of the biggest questions left in the legislative session. This is about protecting kids from harmful material. The governor's call to ink library regulations into law or to veto for a second straight session. So we're telling them to put them in a safe place away from the children. House Bill 710 wants libraries that provide inappropriate books to kids to face legal percussions if a complaint isn't properly addressed. Then you say we have a state issue and we now have to step in and solve it for the for the whole state as opposed to it just being a one off library issue. It's it's pretty prominent. A claim contested by the people most impacted in the policy. It. Molly Noda is in the front of the line. I can just feel the effects um, long term. But processing those emotions. It can feel so personal. It isn't the priority when answers are in short supply. It's a logistical nightmare, especially when there just isn't a problem. Do you think you can keep the teen center in the middle of the library like that if this were to be? No. Done? I think it would be a liability and we would have to close it. We have to check ID right here, do not pass. I guess it would have to be right here. Meaning kids are only allowed on the bottom floor. You just get a shelf and you put the harmful material there. Simple as that. It's, it's so simple. It's actually not simple at all. To resolve a challenged book is to hide that book. Just put it behind the desk. And that's what some lawmakers said all session. This is an option, yeah. But not one she's excited about in practice. It's pretty much gonna languish behind a barrier. And, th and that is so what we are against. One person can make a decision for the whole community. And not just for the past and present. Anything that we think that- It's for the future too. Would cause an issue. Even if it's an educational resource, we wouldn't, we wouldn't buy it. That's the invisible part of the legislation, a proxy to censorship. The existing shelves, Sorry. they're just grandfathered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Once the logistics are thought through and another reality is penned, only then will these librarians pen their personal epilogue, a moment to process it for themselves. I think Idaho librarians are having a pretty check on them. <laughs> That's what I would say. Molly said the Idaho Library Association is looking into cameras for their libraries so they can monitor all parts of the library floor at all times so they can track if or how a book moves in the event that it, an adult book is unintentionally found in a children's section. They would need answers on how that happened. And here's the current totals we have now. We just got from the governor's office about people for and against this piece of legislation. People for it, 2,700 roughly against 4,700. That's through email. You look at those phone numbers, about 4,700 for, just over 2,000 against. So, Brian, those numbers still tilting one yeah. way when we look at how people feel about this. Yeah, and you get on social media, you see the Idaho Library Association being very vocal about Call the governor, tell him what you think, assuming their followers believe the same thing they do. Well, other groups that are on the other side of it have caught on. They've been very vocal as well, getting people to get in the governor's ear before he makes a decision. That last thing you said about cameras, that brings to mind there was this push long ago when people worried about certain books being flagged that if you check it out, you're going to go on a government watch list. Really? This, Yeah, and this tells me that, okay, so now you're going to have cameras watching what you do inside a library to see where you move, that kind of stuff. Might give some people some pause as well. Yeah. And just so I understand this, it's, it's not just for librarians. Like, what the whole bill is supposed to do is that if somebody has a problem, they bring it to the librarian and say, please get this out of this children's section or whatever, and then they have 60 days to do so or face a $250 fine. Yeah. But what she's saying is it keeps them from wanting to put those possible problem books on the shelves in the first place. Well, it's, it's if you make it available. So let's say it's not in the teen section, it's in an adult section. 
but I have to walk past that adult section to get to the teen section. I walk by, I see it, I grab it, I look at it. The library made that available to me. That could be a problem. Wow. All right. Well, again, still waiting to see what happens. Thank you very much, Andrew.